YouTube, it's Grace again and today I'm going to be doing my Throne of Glass review and part one of my giveaway. So um, let's just start with the review. So Throne of Glass is written by Miss Sarah J Mass, if you didn't already know. Um, <clears throat> and basically it follows a young girl named Selena Sardothian. Now I, forgive me if I mispronounce that name just saying so forgive me for it and please don't spam me in the comments you mispronounced it so yeah anyway so it follows her and um she's basically been imprisoned in this labor camp called endovia um she's been in prison there for a year when she is approached by the crown prince dorian who says oh you have you have two choices either you stay here in endovia or you fight in a tournament to become my father's champion essentially so this first book follows her um, training and fighting in the tournament to become the king of our um, Alderman's Adelaide okay I okay I really cannot pronounce today I'm losing my pronunciation skills if I even had any in the first place so yeah it follows her um, journey I guess into becoming the king's champion as she fights for that title so yeah I gave this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars I didn't give it a full 5 because it didn't completely wow me but I really um, enjoyed it my initial rating of this book was a 5 stars because I absolutely loved it but rereading it now you realise like how many like foreshadows there are for like um, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire and Queen of Shadows if you've already read those books like I have so yeah. So plot. So I really enjoyed the plot of this um, book. I felt that it was, it had a simple sort of storyline but had so much complexity to it that it was like, it's like a thousand piece puzzle I would describe the series as. So this first book is basically all the edges of that puzzle and then the other books are more and more pieces that build up towards the middle of that puzzle if that made any sense at all so yeah you get you get lots of information in this book and i think it's a really good solid build start up for the whole series so the next thing is character so um, the main character, Selena. I actually really like Selena as a character because although she's vain, like you know that she's a vain character, you know that she's a definitely a very flawed character. So you, like, there's no denying that. And I'm sorry if you can hear this in the background. There's a bunch of kids running up and down. Like you can just hear it. Oh god, them like screaming. <sighs> okay, back anyway. So yeah, um, Selena is a vain character but I also find her somewhat relatable because she is a young girl and I think sometimes you forget that she is a young girl she's still growing into herself she's seen many horrors in her life but she really wants to try and keep on with her naivety I guess so she acts really girlish I guess as a, like, a form of protest to what she's always been trained to be so people have always needed her as the assassin whereas she's trying to like overcome that and be the young girl that she actually is, um, I feel as a character. Dorian is another great character who's introduced in this book. He's the Prince of um, Alderlan, Adelan, okay, I am losing the plot here, yeah. He's the Prince and I find him to be quite a friendly character in this, like he's one of the characters which makes Selena feel welcomed even though she is um, one of the biggest assassins like of the land and that she's really famous in this but he does try to make her feel welcomed he does try to support her as a character which I find quite enjoyable um, Kale I think is another very critical character to Selena because he is he's the one who supports her in everything he helps her be stronger as a character so that she can achieve her goals and he's also a character which I feel pushes Selena's character development as well. So I think he's a really well, I think he's a really well structured character in this book. Um, 
As I'm going to guess, there will probably be a question of are you Team Dorian or Team Kale? I will have to say I'm Team Kale because I love Kale and I think his moments with Selena are hysterical. Like how they always tease each other and then they're pushing each other over the edge and oh, it's funny. So, yeah. Um, oh, another character to talk about is Princess Nehemia. So, Princess Nehemia is the Princess of Ilwi? Ilwi? Okay, okay, I butchered that so badly. Oh, okay. I will probably be putting like a subtitle about how it's actually spelt so you can attempt to try and say it. But yeah. Um, she's the princess. I found her to be quite a courageous character so far. Like, she's always challenging Selena's sort of um, sensibilities and that she's quite a mysterious character and then you, I feel that you get to know more about her as the books go on. See this is what, like when you've already read the series you think about it a lot more and you analyse the situations a lot more then you realise how much foreshadowing is actually going on and you realise how the hell did she manage to pack so much foreshadowing in there. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, so next thing to talk about would be um, writing style. So I find Sarah J Mass's writing style to always be brilliant. I love her writing style. I think it's she. I think she uses a very good writing style, which keeps him with a very nice pace. That there's always action going on to push the plot ahead, and that she's always she always has a right mix of like um, action moments, along with like plot and um, setting moments like her descriptions of places I think are very well thought out and that also helps with um, the fact that in the book well at least in my copy in like the first pages there's a map of Irelia which um, really helps you visualize that like, whenever they're mentioning places you just look over it on the map and then you think about the distances and yeah it's really helpful and it's what I think it's really great how she took the time to really like talk about these different areas and where they are and yeah so I would highly recommend that you read Throw a Glass if you haven't already so on to the giveaway so the thing my rules for this giveaway are that you have to be either 18 or older or you have to have parental permission to basically give me your address like um yeah, because I'll need your address to send you the prize. And the prize will be a, co a signed copy, because I've managed to order a signed copy. So let's pray, pray, pray to the divine gods that it will actually be a signed copy of Empire Storms. Along with another bookish goodie. And yeah, maybe another bookish goodie. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. I, I'm still planning on what I'm actually going to pack in the um, little package. But yeah. So, mm. and it will be a UK edition. So to enter this giveaway, you have to simply answer a question which I'm about to ask. Answer it in the YouTube comments because I'll also be putting this video up on um, the Books and Writing Amino app. So Books and Writing Amino pals, you won't be able to enter the giveaway if you answer it in that comment. You need to be, you'll need to enter it if you are in the YouTube, um, if you're on the YouTube website. So you need to like the video and write the answer to the question that I'll ask. And the questions won't be anything spoiler related, it will merely be something kind of related to the book. But yeah, you'll get my general gist as I ask this question. So, the Throne of Glass book giveaway question, which is your first opportunity to enter this giveaway, will be, so, what was your first impression of this book once you finished it. So what was your initial impressions? That is my question to you. To answer in the description below. If I was to answer this question, so my initial impression was that when I first read this series I thought this is my new addiction, literally. Because I hadn't read anything of Sarah J Masson's before that and I was already picking up book two. So literally I was fully eager to do it. Because the first time I read this book, I gave it a 5 stars because I absolutely loved it. But now I'm giving it a 4.5 stars because as I think over it, it hasn't exactly wowed me. Because I've read her other books of this series and some of them wowed me more. So upon reflection, 
that is why I think I've given this a 4.5, but I did highly enjoy it. So, yeah, that was the giveaway question. Thank you very much for watching this review video. Um, yep, yeah, like the video if you want to enter the giveaway, and subscribe to my channel if you want to be f know when the other videos will be. So you'll have three other more. You'll have three more opportunities to enter this giveaway when I post my Crown of Midnight review, my Air of Fire review, and my Queen of Shadows review, which will be posted on the following Mondays of August, and you have until September fourth at midnight um, UK time or midnight whatever time basically well, okay actually UK time probably better yeah so um, midnight UK time on um, the 4th of September you have until then to answer the question in the descriptions of each of the video and for each answer you give you'll get an entry into the giveaway and then I'll be I'll be doing a video on the Monday where I'll be pulling out one of the um, one of the names of the people and just mentioning what video they their comment won basically from and then they will win the copy of Empire of Storms and that is it so yeah I will see you in another video so goodbye <laughs>